Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to tell you about our latest addition to our sales floor, which is over 100 right now, a 1958 Chevy Impala convertible. You're going to want to watch this, hang on for a few moments, and we will give you all the information. <music> Greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest addition to our sales inventory right here at Ellingson Motor Cars, and that is a 1958 Impala convertible. Now, everyone's going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to give you all the details of this car. We're going to give a cold start so you can hear that 348 run and we can give you all the pictures and like I say, all the details. Now you can click on the link in the description that will also take you to all the information on this car, such as pricing and all the other factors that are involved. And it gives you access to our, as I mentioned earlier, over a hundred cars and collectibles currently in inventory. Everything from the 1920s to the 1970s and 80s and beyond. So if you're looking for your first or your 100th class collectible vehicle, Odds are Ellingson Motor Cars probably has it in stock. So if you want to look at our website where all these cars are, it is www.ellingsonmotorcars.com where you'll find all of our inventory current right at the moment. But let's get into the details of this really unique car. Of course, 1958 was one of those stellar years for Chevrolet. Ford had actually beat them in 57, believe it or not, but 58 Chevrolet with the new changes, new upgrades, new improved looks, everything about it, uh, they took the lead and I don't know if they ever looked back. So 1958, you're also beginning a lot of the beginnings of that, that muscle car era. People were more cubic inches, more horsepower, all that kind of stuff. Well, someone, when they went to order this car in 1958, they took out the check, the check the option box and they hit the big engine right there, the 348 V8. And that's what this current car has in it. Four barrel addition, plenty of horsepower to pull this car down the road. But the other thing they did is they picked up on some of the extra amenities. I guess that's what I always like to say. Power steering, power brakes, power windows, AM radio, just all some of that extra stuff. The full spinner hubcaps, the wide white walls. Everything was an option in 1958. You had to check off the list of what you wanted and that's what you got and that's what someone did with this car. Very nice. You know, the silver blue metallic paint, beautiful color on this car. Don't see this color all that often, but I really think it's very becoming of something out of the 1950s. Beautiful chrome work all the way around. Of course, everything had the spears, looked like rocket ships, airplanes, jet, you know, all that stuff was really big in the late 50s. And of course, this is the first year of the Impala. Uh, Impala was the top of the line now for Chevrolet, along with all the new changes, like I said, the bigger motor option, we've got the quad headlights, uh, you know, it just got a better frame. Just everything about Chevrolet was kind of going on the upswing and 58s are really one of those anomalies because you talk to so many people from that era, lots of them said, oh, what did they do to my favorite Chevys? And pretty soon, guess what? They said, I gotta have me one of those 58s. It was really one of those things. You had to get used to it, if you will, and it started to gain in popularity, and it's really popular. To, and again, the convertibles even more so. Yeah, let's take a look at the inside on in this car. As I said, it's got the 348 single four barrel and it's got in the Power Glide automatic transmission. So with those options, you can basically throw the keys to anybody and they can get in it. You know, unlike some cars that have a manual transmission that maybe some younger people don't know how to drive, this car anyone can get in and drive. Just take a look at the interior on this car. Very, very nice. Bash, the dash is really nice. The tritone interior with the vinyl and tritone colors, just as exactly the way this car came. Looks like it's got brand new blue carpeting all the way around. Uh, interesting note that I always catch on these is the horn ring is complete. All the way, it goes all the way around. Unfortunately, a lot of those got broken, I guess, if someone hit them really hard back in the day. But this one looks like it's absolutely in pristine condition. Original instrumentation all the way around, AM radio as I said, 
and of course the white power top. So if you can take this car out with the, you know, when you get caught in the rain or whatever, you miss good, figured out what day you were going to go to the car show or whatever, and the rain comes within a short amount of time, minute or less, you can pull that switch, top goes right up really, really easy that way. As again, another option, it's got the power windows and it's got the clock. It's just, you know, it was one of those cars, someone just like I said, started checking the stuff off. Now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and even now TikTok as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate that very much. You'll find all the information on this car, our current inventory, and as an added bonus, you'll find some of the stuff that we've sold over the last few years as well. If you got time to peruse the internet and look at those sites, I'm sure you'll find something that will intrigue you as well. Now, the other thing I always think about when I see these cars, it's like, boy, do they have room in the trunk. I mean, back in the day, smuggling kids to the drive-in, but in this day and age, you can get a couple of sets of golf clubs in there, no problem whatsoever. Or if you're going on a road trip, lots of room for suitcases in the back. You know, they're a very comfortable car. Lots of, lots of leg room, everything else about it. Now, if you're like me, you're gonna say, you know, love the video, I love all that kind of stuff, but I wanna come down and look at it in person. We're more than happy to have you come down to Ellingson's. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 to five, and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you want to come down, look at her in person, we're happy to have you come by. Now, if you got any other questions, you know, our phone number is 763-428-7337, and I will do my very best to answer any questions you have on this car, any of our inventory, or just old car questions in general. That's what we're here, kind of that all service shop for whatever. Say you live in California, say, well, what am I gonna do? Do I buy a car from Minnesota? Well, we can also help you with shipping, get cars sent anywhere in the country. We can also lead you in the directions of someone if you're looking for financing. Say, I gotta, I'd like to get a collector car loan or whatever. We have several sources to send you to and they can more than happy to help you and we do at least one a week with these outfits because these are kind of one of those things that people really can enjoy. I don't care what they say, you can have your 401k or IRA, you can have money, whatever. This is a nice tangible asset. You buy a nice car, nice options, everything about it. You know, it's one of those things that's really not such a bad thing to do. Plus it's fun. You know, join the local car club, join the Impala club, Chevy club, whatever, whatever mark you own. I always recommend that, you know, join that club. There's always people there that can help you if you have questions, are you looking for something or, you know, what am I gonna do, my carburetor's acting up. Well, there's Mr. Wrench over there, he can help anytime. So, you know, I always say join those local car clubs and it's really fun as well. Well, I thank you very much for coming and watching our video today. I think 58 Impalas are one of those uh, cars that have just really kind of crept up in terms of value and popularity. Just a nice full, full size car that you can get in, drive comfortably, and it's lots and lots of fun. So thank you again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you next time at EllingsonMotorCars.com.